Bumps, come on. She's so good. <laughs> Always a song. Okay, we're connected. We're live. You can hear us. Y'all? Yeah. Hello? Okay, so far so good. Welcome everybody as everybody joins on or if you're watching the replay, I'm Lisa Niven Kelly. I'm the owner and founder of Beachcation. And I'm Mel McCabe, who does new products here at Beachcation. She was so excited. I didn't even get to introduce you. I'm Mel McCabe, and I want to show you the new products. I get excited about new products. She's excited. Okay, before we start, I want to give a shout out to my little baby, Izzy, who's homesick, and this is how she gets her mommy time. I'm at work. I'll be home soon, right after this, this Facebook Live, baby. I hope you feel better. I love you. And who else is home with a sick kid? All the kids are sick right now. Yeah. Leave us a comment so we can say wussa wussa to your baby and to you. I know how hard that is. Okay, now that that's out of the way. You know what makes me feel better when I'm not feeling well? New ideas and new products. New products. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. New products. We wanted to show you some of our stamps. Yesterday, you got a sneak peek at the one. Um, I think we did the four dots yesterday, but I'm going to give these to Laura mm -hmm. so you can get a close up and see the four dots, the tiny leaf, and the alpha star, which two of these are available online. Two of them are coming next week. And I love them because they're all smaller than two millimeters. Teeny. Yes. Teeny. So, Aisha, you love teeny tiny. They're great for patterning. They're great for putting on the sides of a name. They're great for mandala stamping. Yeah, could... but I, I love them for mandala stamping because when you use big stamps for mandala stamping, they fill in perfectly. Perfectly. They're so cool. As well as the um, the little degree that we have. Yes. That's really That's popular. what I had shown yesterday. I had shown actually the small diamond. That's which, right. Yep. Which, um, because the degree was so popular, we decided to do a diamond, which is kind of like a square. You can turn it either way. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you on this sample here with the four dots, which I'm going to hand over to Laura. There you can see where it's been patterned around and around. And because it's small, and we used actually some of the larger stamps, just little edges of them, because it is fun to have smaller stamps to be yeah, able to yeah. Now, as you, as you guys are looking at that, if your connection isn't great, it might be a little blurry, but maybe let it load if you're on the replay, um, or we can upload some pictures of the stuff that we're showing you. Do you want to her to show this one too? Yeah. Since you're talking about the four I four thought dots. that was super cute, yeah. Four dots. It's There's cute. the four dots. One thing with the four dots that if you've done a lot of stamping, you guys have run into, um, if the stamp has a lot of surface to it, it actually, it's sometimes harder to impress because remember you're moving the material and not removing it. So if there's a lot of like solid space to it, like a solid heart or something, you may notice it's harder to impress. So you need to, you might need to anneal your metal. You might need a heavier hammer, but also what happens is when you polish, sometimes it pulls the polish out really easily. And that's just cause you didn't get a deep impression. I hope that makes sense. It doesn't pull the polish out, it pulls the black out. So in something like that first sample that Laura showed you, we really polished the top lightly because if we really went at it, it would have pulled the black right out of the grooves because it's a solid and dense area. It wasn't a very deep impression. So just a little tip there if you run into that issue. What else you got? Well, I was gonna say the last um, alt that Laura had shown you too was the tiny leaf. And so you can see it was kind of like a flower around the G. And we also will have, in a few weeks after that leaf comes out next week, a slightly larger one. So you can make kind of like a really cool flower with small petals and large petals, or just use it as a design. Yeah, I'm surprised how much I use that one. It's cool. This little, the alpha star here, Lisa had made this into, I think it was one of the kind of horizontal, horizontal bar necklaces. Yeah. Which I love that you could have a bar necklace just with patterns, not even with a name or a letter. It just looks so nice. Pattern, it kind of reminded me of a Louis Vuitton um, symbol the way you've done that. That's me. I'm fancy. I know. I'm so fancy. <laughs> you already know. Mom, don't dance on camera. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Sorry. The other, the, so the two stamps that I have that are larger, I don't know if you guys saw the newsletter today, but it was the coffee cup, the paper coffee cup with the heart. I want a coffee right now. And, I, and this one, it's so detailed and it stamps so well. It's awesome. Um, the samples where we had a couple of really cute ones. I only need coffee on days ending with Y, which Come I thought on, was so cute. that one, it's so cute. So this is a lot of what Mel does here at Beachcation and you'll see Mel a lot on these Facebook Lives because she's so good. She does a lot of the designing of these design stamps. I help as well, we'll have a power meeting, we'll chat it through and she's not only like a talented jewelry artist, but she can draw. So she'll draw it up and then we have it made um, 
into a vector, and then we have it made into a stamp. So all these that we are showing you, when we refer to stamps as Beeducation Originals, these are our designs that we have hand designed and nobody else carries them except people that resell our stamps, but they're originally made here with our designs. And one of my favorite things to see in my uh, inbox is when Laura will send me from CS um, different comments that customers have said, I wish you guys had this, or I wish you had that, I wish you had, I think recently someone wanted a Native American symbol, and they'll tell us like what the meaning is and why they'd want it in, and then we look it up, and all of a sudden we're able to bring in like a, you know, Navajo mountain or anything. So we love to hear things that you guys wish you could find out there. Yeah, or leave in the comments here. So we'll be looking yeah. through these. Even oh, yeah. if you're watching next week on the replay, we'll keep looking through. Ooh, hearts, hearts, we like hearts, we got a heart. <laughs> <laughs> and thumbs up, give us a thumbs up. This stamp, which my sister designed, is the deco stamp, which kind of looks like deco an fan. deco fan. It's like an art deco, kind of reminds me of Chicago 1930s. I don't, I don't have that because we actually, we sold out of it, I think, immediately. It's coming back in stock in just a couple weeks, but this one was so popular, we really didn't order enough. We didn't anticipate it would be as popular as it was. We try, is. we try to anticipate. Yes. Sometimes we hit it, and sometimes we fail. Those are the stamps. Oh, as well as we did have, I didn't, I don't have a sample for this guy either, but here it is close up, is the hand stamped stamp. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. You guys will have a hard time seeing it. Um, just because it's reverse, if you were looking in a mirror, it'd be easier. But you can search hand stamped on our website, beeducation.com, and it'll pop up. So every um, listing of stamps that we have, we stamp out some samples. We call them the alt images. And you'll see our ideas of how to use that stamp, or if you want to see what it looks like impressed in metal, we show it both ways. We try to show you as much as possible. I hope you like it. And that one was your idea. I love the hand stamp. But you drew it with your beautiful handwriting. I did draw it with my handwriting. Team. But I love, I love that one because you see different different things or you give gifts to different people and they think, oh, is that just is that engraved? Which engraving is nice. Or did you have that made somewhere? But if you have that stamped on a little tag or on the mm -hmm. back of a thicker pendant, it's kind of neat that, you know. They know it was it made by computer you. didn't make it. Yes. 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 Um, I'm excited to tell you guys, we don't even have these online yet. I think they're going to be available February 21st. The thin rings have been popular for so long. We added in the tab rings, the uh, circle rings, and the heart, and now we are adding in the hexagon. Yes. Because the geometric shapes are not going away. Um, they seem really popular. You can stat You can put two of those together and kind of wear them offside so that you have like two hexagons next to each other. Mm -hmm. Lisa's gonna be making some samples for these this week and they will be available in two weeks. And what about this? I can make the samples on a Facebook Live so I can show you how to stamp on rings. I love that idea. What do you guys think? Like a good Does that idea? sound good? Leave us a comment, give us some thumbs up. So with the Facebook Live, we're gonna finish in a minute. I just wanna throw this in. Um, we will be doing Q and A's. So we'll be asking you to leave questions that we can prep for, we can do live questions. We'll be doing interviews with different artists. Um, I'm going out to Bead Fest in March and I'll be interviewing some artists out there. We'll be doing tours of our beautiful, beautiful space. Look at this wall, guess who painted it? This one, she's so good. Hearts, hearts, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and we'll be doing some project stuff and then a lot of what we're doing today. So. We try to present to you um, our products with a lot of information. We put a lot of details in there, lots of pictures, but this is just Hi. another way for us to communicate with you and show you different things that we like to talk, okay? And if our descriptions had everything we had to say about these products, it would be four pages and it would use all your data. So this is a great way for like Mel to tell you how excited she is and show you some extra things and we're just excited to do this. So we'll be talking about products probably every week or we'll do like a month in review and look at the month forward so you can get excited about what's coming up. No one else gets sneak peeks. We never talk about what's coming up in newsletters and all that, maybe a teeny bit, but we definitely don't show it like we're showing it here. So make sure to keep joining us. Um, on that note, before she continues, I've taken over. I've taken over Facebook Live. <laughs> um, we're gonna try to check in with you every Tuesday at one o'clock, just like this. Like next Tuesday? Yes. Do you know what next Tuesday is? Tuesday. Valentine's. Ooh, we're gonna Love's be coming there. to them. Oh, we're gonna have to dress up. Are you gonna bring me chocolates? 
I think Colin will have chocolates for us. And in inventory, she always brings us many chocolates. You know what else is required with chocolates on Valentine's Day? What? Wine! Yes! That's exciting. <laughs> I mean, that sounds good. Yeah, you're, we're okay with wine. So we'll be back on, don't leave yet. I'm just giving you a preview. We'll be back on Tuesday. Apparently it's Valentine's Day. Mel and I are gonna go on a date right here. We're gonna have wine. I do love Valentine's Day. Yeah, I I do. Like, okay, yeah. I like it. I, lo I love it. You know why I think I love it? And it has nothing to do with, I mean, I don't even have a sweetheart. I love the hearts. I love the red. I love yeah, the sparkle. Yeah, I, And I love hearts. And, and you love wine. Sparkle. And I love wine. And I love chocolate. And I love flowers. And I love hearts. And sparkles. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, it'll be fun. I love that. We're going to be here on Valentine's Day. Okay. So, oh, you know what else I love? Continuing on. Our new pewter letters that are stampable. Okay, these are so fantastic. The first thing we thought of with these stampable pewter letters, which I'll give Laura the K, they're so nice and soft. Not soft like bendable soft, but soft that you just tap your letter. You get a perfect impression. You can write a name on it. You can put a design on it. My favorite thing that Lisa did was she took one of the letters, didn't even put a name, just patterned it with, I think it's our Indian rays and was our- Was that one, the Lucy one you just showed? Yes, that's, that's my one. little Wait baby. Wait till you guys see this cute. And she's not the sick one, no, as far as I know. God, I just think it turned out so, well, wow. I know it's not pretty. So that's sort of a take on the mandala stamping that we keep talking about. And we have a class on mandala stamping, a lot of samples and a really big surprise announcement next week that has to do with mandala stamping. But it's just sort of a way of patterning. Um, and we use a lot of the Southwest stamps and these little guys for that. And oh, it's so fun. It's so pretty. Um, if you haven't tried it, you should. And that's another thing I'll do on Facebook Live. Let me make a note. Some mandala stamping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. The thing I like about the mandala stamping too is how you can use a lot of the stamps that you may have now that you didn't think, like the Buddha head or half of a leaf or the bottom of a feather, where or even a letter, like a large monogram letter. I think one of the samples that we had shown you was actually a V from the Kismet set. And we sell the V separately too. Mm -hmm. And that was used to stamp all around and use it more as like a pattern mm -hmm. rather than it even, you wouldn't even notice that that was a letter, which I think is kind of awesome. And you know where all the brilliance from that comes from? Where? Your family. Her sister. My sister's she's quite a good She's one of stamper. our designers and she's part of the surprise announcement next week. But she's done, she did that sample that we just showed. She's done a lot of our samples and she is an amazing stamper. She, I, I apparently read a book on stamping so I kind of know what I'm doing. She smokes me. She is so good. Um, but I do have to lead say, into our surprise next week. She, when she first came to this company a couple of years ago, she was she was horrible, a terrible, terrible stamper. But it took like and I was too. I was too. I mean, my first two weeks, <laughs> I, I I went home and I, well, first I came and I bought like twenty stamps. I was like, this is gonna be my new passion. And I went home and stamped them. And I came back and I was like, I want to return all these stamps. I really am awful. And then I watched Lisa's class and I just got some copper sheet. And because Lisa was like, you got to practice. You're not going to be good. You know, at everything you do right off the bat. You're like one of my kids. And I just, yeah, because you do want that instant gratification. But I just practiced. I made a mess of like two uh, solid six by six inch copper sheets and just <laughs> and watched the class and got the tape and, and you know, drew the line and started you know, kind of lining up my letters. And before I knew it, I was like, I love this because I had gotten better. Yeah. And my sister, too, was about three weeks and I was I like, I don't think You're it was amazing. that long. I mean, all that being said, of course you need to practice like anything else, like the drums, Lucy, you have to practice your drums to get good. That's a conversation I had with my daughter yesterday. <laughs> but um, that being said, the practice, the learning curve isn't huge. It's not like, oh, I'm bad and I won't be good for four weeks. Like, I, mm -hmm. think it I think it took you way less than that. Oh it no, I think Taryn three weeks and Taryn was like the greatest stamper I'd ever known. I mean, right, I think right. a couple days well, she, she was really good. That went from like not good to amazing. But yes. just to get to making beautiful jewelry, it, it does not it's take not that long. long. You just need a couple tips and they're all in our online classes. If you guys have not checked those out yet, go to our website, beeducation.com. I think you can click through from the Facebook page. And now there's a learn tab. And if you click on the learn tab, you'll see all our classes, all our product videos. You can replay them. They're broken down into steps. You can even watch them on our YouTube channel, which is another option, just a different venue to watch it. One's not better than the other. Although I will say on YouTube, you can ask questions that I will answer within a couple days. But watching them on both um, platforms is great. And there's tons. Also with each class, 
we have a list of all the products that we used or that you'll need so you can click and see what you might need to do mm -hmm. that project but um, if you've got kids my daughter Lucy has a class on there a stamping for kids where she will Super remind you that my class is long and boring right yes it's hilarious like it's a little boring so um, she was like nine when she did it. super cute but there's <laughs> there's a there's like four or five different beginning stamping classes to show you how to do that and that's just a technique that we do mostly here at Beach Education and it's gotten really popular and um, we're a little obsessed, as you can tell by our stamps, but they're so pretty. Okay, so what else we got? Is that it? Are we good? I think that's it. I mean, there are many new things uh, coming down the pike that we'll be telling you about. Maybe, yeah. and, and next week's probably the most exciting announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll throw in, I, I'm just going to assume that you are a total beginner and new to our website, because that way I will remember to throw in tips on how to shop our site, how to make certain designs, things like that. So we'll be throwing stuff out like I just showed you how to get to the learn page on our site, or maybe alerted you to the fact that we have a YouTube channel, which is really popular and you should subscribe. Um, things like that, we'll just throw it out each week, because this is our chance for you and I and you and you and you to get to know each other and learn from each other. And we want to listen to you and see what you want and we will answer. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Can't wait for a date next week. <laughs> for my Valentine. <laughs> Sorry, husband. I can't wait for the Mel's wine. my Valentine. <laughs> and bring your wine in. And flowers and chocolate. Let me write that down. Okay, good. Okay, signing off. Make sure that you like our page because that way when we go Facebook Live, you get a notification, which is really cool. We appreciate that, Facebook. And we can check in. Also, remember, if you're watching this broadcast as a replay, we will still be looking through comments and stuff. So chat it up with us. We're excited to have this relationship. Thanks yeah. for tuning in. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> we will see you next week on Valentine's Day. We love you. Heart, heart. Let's bring lots of heart design stamps and show them. Oh, I like that stamps. idea. Yeah. There's like this many. So many. Yes. Okay, cool. Laura's behind the camera. She's going to say bye, Laura. Bye, Laura. Bye. Thanks for coming by.